Nintendo has been crack-a-lacking down on all of the leaks, going after a seller on Mercari. That is something we talked about earlier. In fact, that seller is now laying low due to Nintendo. We found that out yesterday on our uh, podcast because Nintendo Talk had uh, a little conversation, and it turns out that the seller is laying low. They're they're, they're trying to avoid a Nintendo big time, and Whatever. That's one way that Nintendo's gone after people. But obviously, we've seen Discord servers getting nuked. Uh, We've seen other videos, entire YouTube channels getting nuked, Twitch streamers getting nuked. Of course, if you are putting up gameplay of the game right now, if you're streaming the game right now, just know Nintendo will eventually delete your channel. It's going to happen. But what about those people that aren't doing any of that. Rather, they're just talking quite publicly that they are playing Tears of the Kingdom right now. Maybe not spoiling anything per se, but announcing to the world that they are playing the game. Possibly illegally. Especially illegally. Because a user on Twitter thought it would be funny to post an image of themselves playing Tears of the Kingdom. Now, this is just of their avatar on their Switch playing the game, right? It doesn't show anything from the game, so there's no spoiler here. It comes from I am human and I'm a gamer. That's their username. What's interesting, of course, is that it clearly shows they are playing a digital copy of the game. Now, this person is not a video game reviewer. This person did not get a digital copy from Nintendo. The only way to play a digital copy on your Switch would be to download the ROM and put it on a hacked Switch, which would read it as a digital copy instead of a physical copy because it's not physically inserted into the cartridge slot. Okay? So basically a public image on Twitter showing, ha ha, I'm playing an illegal copy of Tears of the Kingdom. Nintendo might not be too happy about that either. And the funny thing is how this person got found out and what Reggie, the former CEO and COO of Nintendo of America, had to say about it because it's quite hilarious. And now that person might have had the ninjas take him out. Before we dive into that, Just want to quickly remind you, we're giving away a Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom Nintendo Switch OLED Edition. We're also giving away a Tears of the Kingdom Collector's Edition and a pin from PAX East. Thank you so much for being here. You can enter it down in the pin comment or in the description. We're also on our road to 133,000 subscribers, so who knows? Maybe we just happened to get there. So, Reggie fils decided to quote tweet the person who put this on Twitter and put up a quote from a Liam Nielsen film that simply states, I don't know what you want. What I do have are a very particular set of skills. Skills I have acquired over a very long career. Skills that make me a nightmare for people like you. It's obviously a reference that Reggie fils having been in a pretty powerful position at Nintendo, is making a nice little fun movie reference to the fact that people like you are going to get in trouble. And they did, at least seemingly so, because their entire Twitter account has been deleted off the face of the planet. It no longer exists. Now, it's possible the person deleted it themselves after the Reginator got involved. They're like, yeah, okay, Reggie's now co-tweeting me. I better shut this down and delete my account. But the way that it looks like it was deleted, just going back through some history websites, it appears that Twitter nuked this account. And why would Twitter care to nuke this account? Probably because Reggie informed Nintendo, and Nintendo was like, we got you. After all, the quote says, Reggie obtained a particular set of skills. It makes it a nightmare for people like you. You don't think Reggie still has upper management and legal and other contacts at Nintendo still in his Rolodex on his phone? Of course he does. And if he's going to point out someone doing an illegal copy of the game, which clearly Reggie is not going to be cool with, 
Yeah, the ninjas are coming. So it might have been a fun little quote. Reggie having fun with people who are leaking the game. Also, this person got nuked off the face of Twitter. And who knows if there was anything else, like if Twitter had to give up IP addresses or anything. I don't doubt there's a legal case. But, you know, Nintendo is trying to delete all evidence of this leak off the face of the internet, which is impossible at this point. But I do find it funny that the Reginator himself sort of got involved in this whole leak business to basically issue a public warning. Um, yeah, this stuff comes across my profile. I got a particular set of skills. Just saying, even Reggie has a lot of respect for his former employer that you know he willfully retired from. And he's not going to mess around, man. If it comes across his timeline... He's going to just direct it straight to the Nintendo legal. He, he's not even, he probably doesn't even need to get a hold of anybody else. He could probably just literally speed dial the Nintendo legal department and just send them it. And they're going to be like, oh, yeah, gotcha, Reggie. Don't worry about it. Guys, if you are playing a leaked version of the game, which, by the way, a lot of people have some pretty nasty opinions about you if you are playing it, I am just staying out of that whole mess. But what I will say is, don't advertise yourself playing an illegal copy of a game publicly. If you care about your social media accounts, you care about, you know, say you're a, a kid and you like, oh, I don't have to worry about anything. My parents deal with everything. Do you want your parents to potentially deal with legal problems? Be better. Be smarter. Don't be posting images publicly of you playing an illegal copy of a game more than a week out from launch. Like if you waited to post these images till after the game came out, nobody cares. But because you're doing it now, you're just asking for something nasty to happen. The 15 seconds, the 20 seconds, the 8 minutes, the 15 minutes of fame you get. Is it really worth it? Because it's infamy fame that's going to destroy your career on social media. That is, if you have one, or if you don't and you're just a kid, you're going to find out quickly that actions have consequences. So my number one advice to everyone out there that is, you know, choosing to commit a crime and play the game illegally, my advice is keep it to yourself. Play it in the privacy of your own home. Stop sharing images online. Don't go to Reddit. Don't go to different communities. Don't go on Discord servers and talk about it. If you do, that's your prerogative, but be willing to accept the consequences that could come your way for doing so. I heavily suggest you just keep it to yourself. If you keep to yourself, most people are just not going to really care because we'll be none the wiser. But if you're going to publicly post about it, just know even the Reginator is out there getting ready to, you know, activate his FISA mech and eye laser shot anyone out of existence. So I think it's kind of funny to see even Reggie's involved this time around helping uh, get rid of this stuff, and clearly Nintendo is listening. So thank you guys for tuning in. You guys are awesome, and we'll catch you in the next video. Mm -hmm.